Now, just days after Punjab and Kerala passed a resolution against the contentious citizenship amendment law in their assemblies, Congress MP Kapil Sibbal has said that no state can stall the CAA as it is unconstitutional. While speaking at the Kerala Literature Festival, Sibbal said that states can oppose the act by passing resolutions in their assemblies, but constitutionally states can't hold, uh, halt the act since the implementation will create difficulties. Congress leader Salman Khurshid too backed Sibbal's remarks saying that states can't stall CA and only Supreme Court can declare the law unconstitutional. Remember, Kapil Sibbal's remarks come at a time when Congress ruled Punjab became the second state after Kerala to pass a resolution against CAA, terming it discriminatory. If the CAA is passed, no state can say I will not implement it. That's not possible. That is unconstitutional. You can oppose it. You can pass a resolution in the assembly and ask the central government to say, please withdraw it. But constitutionally, to say that I will not implement it is going to be problematic and it's going to create more difficulty. So what we need to do is politically get together. Uh, if you like, from our point of view, doubtful and unlawful and unconstitutional, but it's there on the statute books, then everyone has to obviously obey the law. And if you don't obey the law, then there are consequences. State governments have a very serious difference of opinion with the central government as far as this law is concerned. So they would all obviously await the final pronouncement made by the Supreme Court. Until then, everything that is said or done or not done is uh, provisional and tentative. And I think that's the context in which uh, Mr. Sibyl also would have made the comments that he has. My colleague Gopi Krishnan now joins us live for more on the story. Now, Gopi, what Kapil Sibbal is saying, what Salman Khurshid is saying is probably theoretically right. But as the Congress tries to up the ante against CAA, you've got Punjab, uh, you know, of course, opposing it as well. Now they're trying to pressurize Shiv Sena to probably do the same in Maharashtra. Was it unexpected? Was it surprising for a Congress leader to come on a public platform and say that as far as constitutionally it is concerned, there is nothing that we can do about the CAA? Well, 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 of course, this was not just uh, unexpected, but at least many Congress leaders would feel that uh, the, this, this was a wrong timing for Kabul Sibyl to make a statement like that. Because remember what the uh, Congress has been doing in Kerala. They are the prime opposition here, but they have been giving full support to the state government, the Pujai Vijayan led left government in all their efforts against the CAA. And also, it's very significant to note what Kabil Sibyl is saying. He is not really saying, he is not actually criticizing the resolutions passed by these state assemblies. But he is saying that any state government cannot say that they will not implement it. So that, that is actually what one, one point where, where, it comes, where, where it comes to a point of confusion. Because in that very same video, Kabul Sibel can be heard saying that any state government can pass a resolution against this law and ask the central government to withdraw it. But to say that they will not implement it is unconstitutional. So this will certainly create a sense of confusion among the people. Uh, and also among the political leaders, because uh, uh, we, will, we should also see this in the political aspect. First, Kerala has passed a resolution against this particular... Uh, 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 so, Gopi, cinema. clearly, uh, as far as the CA is concerned, it's implementation, there are a lot of questions, but uh, what Kapil Sibbal said, and like you're saying, even local Congress leaders didn't expect this from him on a public stage here. Thank you so much for getting us that update. Thanks for watching the video. For more such news and updates, please like, share and subscribe to India Today. Also check out our other great videos from our channel, We Know You Would Love To.